please, 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 please don't! Put down that flamethrower. I'll stop. I'll be good. I promise. Well, looks like you caught me. Working at Kilco, just like you. Welcome to Kilco. This collection of orientation videos is here to answer all of your Kilco kill questions. Kilco was founded 30 years ago when Congress allowed Kilco and other heavily regulated companies to kill society's worst people extra judicially and extra vigorously. And sometimes extra crisply. Though the Purge Amendment was reversed, its spirit lives on in this official government program. From the beginning, Kilco adopted its motto, doing bad things for good reasons, which replaced the original motto, every kill begins with K. Some say it's dangerous to employ ruthless goons to go after the truly evil, but our Kilco Kill Code ensures it's all above board and for a good cause. Now, right about now, you may be asking yourself, well, who does the killing? Or who does Kilco kill? Or isn't this all pretty messed up? First, shut up. Secondly, each of our psychopaths are unique artists whose abilities have been refocused to serve the greater good. It's like when criminals are rehabilitated to be chefs <laughs> or Australians. From Edward Fingerblades to the billionaire who hunts you at his mysterious mansion dinner party, the personal styles of our killers are what makes Kilco the best in the business. Thirdly, Kilko's motto, doing bad things for good reasons, ensures that our targets are truly bad people. From cult leaders, to mafia dons, to war profiteers. Each target comes with its own dossier on who they are and why they're awful. Fourthly, <laughs> This is just how our world works. <laughs> Deal with it. Now, to begin onboarding, you're gonna need a US passport or a driver's license plus social security card or... And it goes on. I figured seeing these would help you get up to speed in your investigation. Anything else I can get you, Agent Pat? Thank you, Susan, but the Federal Oversight Board sent me over here to specifically investigate Incident 29. Right. The unauthorized kill by Bryn Morris. Allegedly. This is a serious legal matter. If I find it was unjustified, I'll have to shut Kilco down. I'm kind of a big deal. <laughs> the office voted me most dateable in a highly unofficial poll. Flirting with HR is literally the stupidest thing you could do. <clears throat> I, I don't want to close Kilco. I believe in it. I just want to find the truth. Not saying I'm a hero. But if I were, my name would be like Captain Truth Seeker or Dr. Truth Man. Sure. So first, how are Kilco's targets vetted when you bill yourselves as the Uber for Hitmen? People forget that most of our killers are already Uber drivers. Most kill requests are rejected for not being up to kill code standards. But we're committed to an open, democratized killing process. Huh. That's honestly inspiring. We're kind of both heroes in a way. Let me pull up Bryn's file. I've got notes on everything, all the way back to her job interview. Oh, well, this could take all day then. Not that I mind spending time with someone as lovely as yourself. <clears throat> the incident really started around eight weeks ago. I'd say my biggest weakness is, if I'm being honest, fitting in. Rin. It takes a while for me to click with others. Slow down. Take a breath. But I'm well-rounded. Employers like that, right? I paint in my free time. I like creating things. I'm passionate about art. I'm actually a very good painter. Abstract, mainly. People say I'm skilled with colors, and I'm glad people noticed. <laughs> okay, maybe bragging is my greatest weakness. <laughs> no. <clears throat> 
Your greatest weakness is your personality. And I know what Kilco does, but the office manager job listing said it was strictly administrative, so that works for me. <laughs> oh, not that I have moral problems with Kilco. I just am a very moral person. I got Manic Hermione Granger in a BuzzFeed quiz once, and <laughs> you know they're very accurate. Well, thank you for coming in. I really need this job. I'm desperate, I'm awkward, and I've tanked every job interview before this one, and this is kind of my last resort. I know there's creepy killer stuff here, but that's okay, because I'm gonna rise above, and I'll work so hard because I have to, because- Bryn, we usually hire people who went to jail, not people who went to Yale. <laughs> so no laugh on that, even though your jokes were- Whatever. Anyway, I do think you do well here because this morning you scored favorably on Kilko's personality test. Oh, great. Those questions were weird. Listen, our only other applicant failed the do you do everything your dog tells you to do question. So, I guess you can be our office manager. You're hired. Yay! Here's your first assignment. <clears throat> it's the Kilko. Get reading. Oh, and this. That's not an assignment, it's the office pet policy. Oh, I can bring my dog here? No, we only allow birds. That's psychotic. Exactly. Floor 49, Killer main offices. The kill code is hundreds of pages of rules and bylaws. Uh, is there like a PDF version? It's pretty heavy. <laughs> Bureaucracy and government oversight is the price we pay for doing business. Audio book. <clears throat> Podcast version? No, 1,500 odd rules that all employees are expected to follow. First rule of Kilco? You do not talk about Kilco. <laughs> Bike Club? Never seen it. Too scared of Helena Bonham Carter. Too witchy. The first rule of Kilco is do bad things for good reasons. Kilco rule number one do bad things for good reasons. Ah, so more like the Inglorious Bastards. Oh God, is Brad Pitt my favorite actor? Oh, I'm so sorry. I wasn't I wasn't watching where I was no, going. Sorry. Um, are you new? Is that obvious? Um, well, you're wearing white. Uh rookie mistake at a company with a blood floor. <laughs> my blood proof plastic tarp pencil skirt is at the cleaners. <laughs> <laughs> you're uh you're uh a thumbs up. I am a thumbs up? <laughs> yeah, like yeah, you know. Thumbs up, you know, to you for being cool and stuff. Thumbs up, two thumbs up. Bryn, this is Geo. He's an R&D tech specialist. And this target identified. Initiating offensive protocol. Operation in three, two, X, chill. Deactivate kill mode. <sighs> is he a kill call employee too? No more than a work laptop would be if you strapped a grenade launcher to a laptop. Father, did this tiny woman injure you? Do you need my protection? No, I'm fine. Uh, this is my sentient killing robot I built. Whoa, cool. You built this? This is insanely sophisticated. Wow. Oh, no, it's, it's nothing. I mean, you, you think it's cool? Like, I mean... I think it's cool, but I didn't know. Any... Father, my sensors indicate your heart rate is increasing. Are you ill? Precision X, run mute protocol. Health alert. Penis blood levels Okay, critical. we Lips gotta quivering. go. It was great meeting you. Precision X, let's go. No, 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 no. Walk in front of me. There's a lot of weird guys who work here. Wait, wait. This... Geo is a big part of my case file, too. How was he involved in Incident 29? Don't worry about him yet. I wasn't done orientating Brit. <sighs> okay, we're here. Force cubicle on the floor. This is your desk. This is your filing cabinet. This is your... Portable lamp maker? One whole punch? Stability ball desk chair? This job rules! Ooh, ooh. Your first assignment is to watch the orientation videos. In your spare time. Hope you have a VHS player. But right now, this info sheet will guide you through installing the Slaughterfy app on your phone. It's a multi-tool with everything from new kill assignments to detailed target profiles to timesheets. The timesheet part was my idea. It takes a lot to appear on the Slaughterfy app. There's a vetting process to make sure they're evildoers with documented bad shit. I don't know. It's a lot. 
You all talk about killing so casually, but can I be frank? We're friends, right? No. I, I gotta say it. Murder is bad. It's the tippy top bad thing. It's the pre Angelina Brad Pitt of crimes. <sighs> sorry, 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 sorry. Please don't fire me. Relax. Our targets are also often guilty of the Brad Pitt of crimes. Think of Slaughter Fi as a Ocean's Eleven of all the kill worthy, terrible people. <sighs> don't do the crime if you can't do the time, I guess. Well, we say don't be a villain if you can't take a killing. Okay. Also, don't commit felonies or we'll castrate you chemically. Sure. Don't be dreadful if you don't want a head full. Of spikes. And once I heard, don't act all heinous if you value your anus. How do you murder someone through the asshole? Never mind. I'm gonna stick to clerical, earn my wages, and fly under the radar. I could never do the murder part. Maybe. I started where you are, and my job is clerical too. But every once in a while, even I'll open up the Slaughterfy app. And hey, if on the way home I can push a bad guy onto the subway tracks, why not? It's good for the company. Dark. I call it catching the M train. <laughs> But if you don't like that kind of thing, that's okay. Enjoy your label maker and excruciating conversations with Hadley. Who's Hadley? Your girl boss, sweetie. Ah, are you my new girl? <gasps> love that. Does that dress have pockets? Oh, love that. Nervous energy, love that. What time is it? 11.30? Love that. We are gonna be best friends because we are the same, I can tell. Ah, <laughs> you're a face toucher. You know, I used to have your job three long years. Then, a ah, promotion. So long, project coordinator. And hello, program administrator. What do you administer? Projects you coordinate. Okay, let's head to the commissary for lunch. Girl time. Also mandatory. Uh, actually... My grandmother is bringing me lunch in a few minutes. Ew, you eat? <laughs> she always brought me lunch on the first day of school, and she's proud of my first job. <laughs> but <laughs> it's silly. <laughs> I can tell her to go home. Love it. Okay, well, tell your aunt or whatever to buzz off, and I'll meet you at the home. The old lady at the fence in faded velvet bell bottom says she's your grandmother. Nanny! Hey, brought your lunch, but this old joker won't let me through the gate. How's your first day going? Now, keep in mind, my first day as a nurse, I had to remove a G.I. Joe figure from inside someone, so, you know. <sighs> Today's been... Let's just say I'm gonna need to hit up the bar pretty soon. Not going great, huh? No, it's been fine. It's just a little scary here. Well, give it a real go. And if, like my marriages, <laughs> it doesn't work, you can divorce and soon for half. Yeah, I could always go back to the job hunt. Oh, mm. I'm trying to do that. And... <sighs> stupid heart. Just being so stupid. Nanny, are you okay? I'll get the guard <sighs> right now. And we can just... Mm -mm, no, 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 I'm fine. Girl, be cool. Don't embarrass me. <sighs> I'm fine. Look, it's still not worse than that time I ate at that combination Papa John slash Petco. <laughs> you know, the one nice thing is after a few weeks, my health plan kicks in, and I'll take care of both of us. That, plus a little saving, and we can get you the heart surgery. Hey, I'm the adult. I'm supposed to take care of you. You shouldn't have to. And I'm an adult, too. What's more grown up than deferring your creative dreams for a day job? Well, if these people keep stressing you out, I say the hell with them. I appreciate the foul mouth support, but I don't know if I'm really going to tell a company of killers to buzz off. Wait, wait a minute. Do you actually interact with the professional killers here? Yeah. No, you cannot fall into that. You said it wasn't the bad stuff. Now, my granddaughter's not going to be one of the bad guys. Nanny, you can't let yourself get riled up. It's just a job. A job with great health insurance. I don't kill anyone. I do the paperwork. Mm -hmm. And that's it. You promise. That's it. Paperwork. Filing. Remembering everyone's preferred birthday treat. Typical office stuff. <sighs> Fine. I don't like it. But it's your life. Just hang out with the other non-murderers. You know, make some non-violent friends. Okay. I'll find some work buds. Gotta go. 
Love you. So this is the com. Fast facts. Sandwich meats are daled. Coffee tastes like ass. The crudo is a crudont. And the breakfast buffet, more like breakfast stay away. <laughs> well, I brought my lunch. All oh, right, yeah, ew. I don't eat anything. Okay, so let's find a seat for you. Kilco is made up of all different types of killers and they're clicky. <laughs> like high school again. Everything in life is like high school. We're not better than high school. Didn't you love high school? Who loved high school? These are the best of the worst. Many recruited from the world's top supermax prisons. Weird flex, but cool. Okay, see that dude with the face mask and tubes? Oh, he once brought Dusk City to its knees and he runs our party committee. Hey, Scourge. How's it hanging? The people must know true justice. We can no longer have a cake for every single birthday. It's too much. We must celebrate all the month's birthdays at one time with one cake. Ugh, he's in the middle of one of his monologues. How does he eat with that thing on? He uses a straw and lives off fancy yogurt. Oof. Wow. His gut biome must be a hundo. You'll meet the other top killers eventually, but I usually sit with management for one reason and one reason only. <sighs> See the woman in the red suit with the perfect high bun? That is Bianca, our CEO, leader, and the greatest person I have ever known. We're besties. <laughs> hey, Bianca. No. Next time. That's how we say hello. I greet her and she says stuff like, no, not now, or who. <laughs> it's a fun friend thing we do. Oh, shit. Here comes Shelly. Ignore him. Ignore him. Padley. Padley, over here. Yeah, six inches to your right. Yep, right here. <laughs> oh, oh, hey, Shelly. If you're looking for a place to sit, plenty of room at my table. But uh, it's less of a table and more of a cardboard box by the trash they let me sit at. <laughs> Hi, I'm senior storm room attendant Shelly. Isn't Shelly a girl's name? My parents named me after my older sister, a turtle. Yep, she was the favorite. Well, we're gonna sit not near you. Come on, Bryn. I'll be over here by the garbage if you change your mind. It only smells when the sun hits. He didn't seem criminal mastermindy, shall I? No, he's clerical like you, AKA unimportant. Ugh, oh my God, let's just sit with Weston. Done, executive decision made. That's why I'm a program manager. Administrator. Hadley. Hi, I'm Weston, head of security. Oh, you were at the fence with Danny. Hi there. Hm. No obvious blood stains or psychotic glint in your eye. Weston, I hope this doesn't come off rude, but you seem kind of normal. <laughs> Not rude at all, ma'am. <sighs> it's such a relief. Or is this one of those deals where you're secretly the biggest freak here? Only thing I'm a freak for is good food, good friends, and the discography of Stevie Nicks. <laughs> if he gives off a certain vibe, maybe that's because he's the only person at Kilco who's never actually killed anyone. <sighs> Lame. Wait, Hadley, you've killed someone? <sighs> of course, narc vibes. You should see my freezer. It's all legs and DiGiorno's. Well, I mean it. My job is strictly clerical. I'm not killing anyone. Job title don't mean nothing. I'm head of security at a killing factory. I've never done worse than a headlock. That was one Christmas party, and I wasn't even that drunk, dude. I'm also Bianca's personal bodyguard when she needs it. So you don't kill anyone, then? I mean, my job is technically to kill someone if they come after Bianca, but no, I've never had to do it. How do you reconcile working here as a <clears throat> non-murderer? Just a job. When I started, Kilco was a different kind of place. Just, deliberate. What they'd call artisan executions or handcrafted head chopping. Now it's, well, more corporate, rushed, profit-driven. Some folks around here think the glory days are behind Kilco. It's all downhill from here. Man, it's her first day. Do you think that? I don't care. 
Big company, small company, it, it's just a job to me. Once I clock out, all I think about is <sighs> fly fishing. Ahem. Attention, everyone. Bianca here. Attention, it's Bianca, your chief execution officer. Look, if you don't shut your drool holes, I'll revoke Summer Fridays. Oh, that seemed to catch your attention. Well, hello. Okay, I have two announcements. First up... Hello? This is your final opportunity to get a reduced interest rate. Oh, God damn it. I a spam phone calls. Why, why do they look like they're coming from my number? I just, it doesn't even make any sense. I, I mean, that's weird, right? Okay. First announcement, sadly, we had to fire Frank Scarfacino. I know. Well, we discovered he was leaking info to slaughter five targets. And in a completely unrelated coincidence, former Kilco employee Frank Scarfacino has been greenlit to be killed. Kill code rule number two. Kilco killers can't kill other current Kilco killers. But if you get the axe, you could really get the axe. I've already talked to David about Frank's red slip, so wish David happy hunting, everyone. I shall do my best to honor the body of work to spring forth from that old cuisine. That's David. He's a dapper cannibal type, and pff, I'm pretty sure his accent is fake. I get the leaking company info is bad, but shouldn't he just go to prison, maybe, and not die? Trust me, if he's been greenlit by the kill code, his offense is super die worthy. The whole point of the kill code is to keep us murdering people who deserve to die. So, like, he way deserves it. Okay, second announcement. Business has been slow lately. Isn't that sort of good? Kilco is a bunch of contract killers. No kills, no contracts. No contracts. I have to go back to my old job as a catalog model. We've gotten a little complacent, and instead of delivering on our contract kills in a timely fashion, our kills have been, frankly, lazy and inefficient. I mean, we're, we're not hitting our quarterly targets, and we have to correct it. The leadership team wants Kilco steadily growing at 2% per year, and we're nowhere near that. Increasing kills? Forever? But don't worry. We have a plan. An incentive program. A contest to get kill numbers up to where they need to be. The contest is an eight-week period where killers are encouraged to kill more targets and in more creative ways. Each assignment will be worth a varying subjective evil value, or SEV, as determined by the Slotify app based on evilness of the targets, difficulty of their capture, creativity, and irony of methods. Why, you ask, why do they want creative kills? Well, first, to get back to our artisan roots, but mainly, publicity, honey. I want media placements, I want trending topics, but what I really want is for you to wow us. We need you hacking outside the box. Okay? Killers will be ranked via the Slotify app. Think of it more like, a, you know, an employee of the month leaderboard. Then, at the end of eight weeks, first place gets a cushy promotion to Frank's old job as CTO. Why are these names excited for Chief Torture Officer? Ah. Plus, plus, five hundred thousand dollars. Surgery. Second place gets a set of steak knives. Woo! Shelly likes. Last place is you get fired, then killed. Shelly and the contest begins right now. Start your chainsaw! <laughs> Not literally! Put that stuff away! Liability insurance alone, thanks. Hadley, is that contest real? Should I quit? Can I quit? 
I can still quit, right? Hmm, it's new. I mean, of course, I knew about it because Bianca and I are pretty close. But yeah, the Slatterfy app already has a new leaderboard, so it's definitely real. Listen, I'm kind of in the middle of a bonkers text chain, so I mean, I can't just shoot. Bryn, be calm. You're having a panic attack. Think of things that make you feel good. Puppies, new sneakers, diners, drive-ins, and dives. Diners, drive-ins, and dives! Girl, stop. You can quit now, but don't. You're gonna be fine. Everyone at Kilco does a first day freak out. This is yours. It's a lot to process. Plus, this contest is a little crazy. It doesn't apply to me though, right? I just started here and I'm not a killer. I'm clerical and I don't wanna die. Am I gonna die? Does this contest apply to me? Ha! Oh my God, no, 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 no. Please don't even worry about it at all. Oh, thank God. <laughs> I said the best memes. <laughs> Meme queen over here. Okay, uh, so back to your thing. Your next onboarding assignment is shadowing an actual kill. It's important for you to see exactly what we do. Ooh, perf timing. You're gonna shadow David as he executes Frank. You in? In a thought spiral, but yes. Hello, Bernice. <laughs> Jesus How Christ! How long have you been there? Also, my name is just Bryn. Bryn, yes. While you're here, did you see if the UPS guy came by? I have to send out a package. So that night, after maybe three more panic attacks, Bryn began her shadow of David's hit on Frank. Bryn, keep up. Sorry, I'm just a little bit incredibly terrified. Should I be scared? Shh. Here comes Tafasino. A few hours out of Kilco, and he's already headed back to his old mafioso hideaway. Just when I thought I was out, they pulled me right back in. After waiting patiently for 20 years. He doesn't seem so scary. Are you sure that's him? What do you even do now? Shadows, in general. Don't ask so many questions. And it's not what I do now. We wait for the right time. You just wait? But didn't Bianca just say that we... We just wait. Let him come to us. I know what Bianca said about working faster, but have a little dignity in all this. How it used to be at the company, before we were basically trying to play catch-up to Big Funeral. It's ruining the killing industry. People are practically feral now. The Slaughterfy app was the beginning of the end. Oh, this company used to be about doing the right thing, not about money or publicity. That's what I'm saying. It's garish. But I'm 65 now. Wow. You look great. Thank you. Pilates. As I was saying, I'm 65. I need my pension. Plus, I've got a dreadful knee, and the health plans are good. <sighs> the co-pays are high, but what they offer is hard to beat. And everyone's in network. <sighs> good. Because my nanny is... <gasps> David! He's behind you! Oops. Alone, please. Ah! Stop! Help <laughs> for <laughs> If you can, sign up for the gold medallion plan. It includes orthodontia. Can you believe I'm wearing braces right now? Invisalign. No one knows. Frank, rude. I'm having a conversation with a work colleague. Oh, God. I'm not ready for this. This is too much. I just saw a man get killed. This is fucked. How could you do that? Somnus Eternum, my paisan. Thanks for warning me back there. Aren't you a cannibal? Are you gonna... Eat him now? <laughs> More like cantable these days. They don't let me do that anymore. A new kill code rule a few years back. Another sign the company has lost its way. Kill code rule number 490. Don't eat people. It's gross. 
So you're not a cannibal? Not at work. I can try for an exemption, but you have to fax in the form and... I'm sorry, fax it in? No. How can you eat after that? That was the worst thing I ever seen. It's just a job, Bryn. Well, I can't do that. I'm not killing anyone ever for any reason. That was beyond messed up. I'm sorry, were you saying something? I was calling an Uber. Floor one, Kilco Lobby. Bryn, you're back. Headed back up to the office. Uh, uh hold on. Hello? Hello, this is your final opportunity to get a re- Ugh, robocalls. So, how'd shadowing Duffy go? I'm so overwhelmed. I saw a man die tonight. Isn't it wild? Floor three, chainsaws and hedge trimmers. I guess in the abstract it didn't matter, but seeing it in real life, I don't know if I can work here anymore, if I'm being honest. So, quit? Floor seven, bear traps and snares. If I quit, that means no health insurance, and my nanny needs it. If I'm not here for her, I don't even want to think about that. If we don't have health insurance, she'll die. Yeah, this job sort of desensitizes you to the whole people dying thing, but yeah, I get that that's like, ooh, a true bummer. Floor 12, <laughs> poisons and elixirs. Look, it's just that Kilko's an acquired taste. How did you acquire it? Floor 28. Oh, I don't know. Weaponized it just sort of happens. Bees. In a good way. Oh. Or you quit. Lots of people quit. Floor I can not Some kind of know. human centipede situation. It could be worse, I guess. I'm not doing the bad thing, really. Hmm. I don't follow. Like I'm clerical. I'm not you. I'm not David. <gasps> Speak of the devil. Looks like David just gave you a courtesy point for helping his kill on the Slatterfy app. Courtesy point? For Bianca's contest. It's just one, but still nice. I mean, he's a total sweetheart when he's not eating you with his eyes. Wait, you said I wasn't in the contest. No, Floor I didn't. 42, HR. Hello. Not, not now, now, Susan. Susan. Okay. You said I wasn't in the contest. What? You asked, am I gonna die? And I said, no, 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 no. As in, you're gonna do great. Positive thinking. So I am in the Kilco contest? Of course, you're part of the team now, girl. Don't leave me hanging, girl. Floor 69, rooftop bar. 